Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. We finally had Neo Day. Months and months we've all been waiting on this day to see what's happening. And to be honest with you guys, I'm a bit disappointed because I was expecting more from Neo. Although everything is good, the ET5 is good. I'll tell you guys some more about the ET5. I'll recap it. But it was a bit underwhelming for me because I was expecting the launch of the other car outside of the ET5. I, I was expecting the launch of the second brand, but there are rumors that all of this will be happening during another event that NEO will organize. I hope it's before the half of 2022. What I really like guys is that the ET5, the base model with the 75 kilowatt hour battery starts off at around $40,000. This is great guys because when we compare this to the Model 3 of Tesla the direct competition we can see that we're really cheap compared to them and not only that we're, we're also offering a lot more than the Model 3 offers. So for example the Tesla Model 3 has around 300 horsepower the base model and this one has almost 500 horsepower a 0 to 100 time in 4.3 seconds which is very good for the base model of, with a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. The 150 kilowatt hour battery pack will be available in the last months of the year when the ET7 will also be available with a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. The biggest, most important thing for me guys, it's that the ET5 and the ET7 are very similar. To be honest, I really like the design of the ET5. I like it more than the ET7. Looking at the spy picks, I didn't really like the ET5 as much as the ET7, but now, wow especially when you got those special colors you got like nine beautiful colors for them i would go personally with the dark blue because i'm a dark blue guy and the beauty here is that the et5 gets almost everything that the et7 has for example in the front you get the nad you get the lidar you get the computing chips you get the nvidia you get the orion you get everything that the et7 has packed up in a smaller format of the ET5 and let's not forget the ET5 is just a tad bit bigger than a, for example a BMW 3 series or a Model 3 but what's notable that the ET5 doesn't have it's that it doesn't come standard fitted with for example massage seats all over the places heated seats or cooled seats you only get standard two heated seats in the front but really guys everything you're getting in an ET5 base model for around 40k that's just amazing guys I'm expecting to be honest the Model 3 sales to be decreasing drastically in the coming year once the Model 3 is truly being sold it's going it's game over for Tesla in China do you guys remember when I told you NEO will first expand to Europe and that's what's going to happen on NEO day William Libby told us that they will firstly expand to Germany the Netherlands Sweden and Denmark in 2022 but their plan is to expand to up to 25 countries by 2025 I am certain that the US is one of those countries and I truly believe by 2023 we're gonna see NEO in the US and NIO already stated that they wanted to have around 4,000 battery swap stations in China alone by the end of 2025. William Li Bin said that by the end of 2023 they're going to have around 1,300 battery swap stations and they want around 1,000 battery swap stations in Europe too. So we were expecting another car outside of the ET5, we were expecting another brand, we didn't get it but most probably we're gonna get another event happening in the coming months where we see all of that come true and let me remind you guys that the ET5 is going to be the car to put NEO on the world map because we can look at the blueprint that Tesla left us with the Model 3. The Model 3 sold 10 times more than the Model S in 2020. We had around 20,000 Model S's sold in 2020 and around 200,000 Model 3's. So this just shows us guys that the money is in the mid-range model. The money is truly in the ET5. And to be honest guys, it's such a beautiful car. I'm really amazed. I like the ET7. It's like an eight and a half out of 10 for me. If we're talking looks, if we're talking technology, it's an 11 out of 10, but looks are subjective. And the ET5, my God, like the ET5 is just so beautiful. I can't find any other car for $40,000 that's just so beautiful as the ET5. Find me a car that's that elegant, that sporty, 
that great like it's just amazing in every feature that it has it's just amazing in every aspect and the range guys it's gonna have the same range that the 87 has 550 kilometers for the 75 kilowatt hour battery 700 kilometers for the 100 kilowatt hour battery and a thousand kilometers for the 150 kilowatt hour battery or 600 miles if you're using uh, imperial standard and to end the video guys stay long and strong the next video will be about new and the stock market so let's see each other then ciao ciao <music>